good afternoon. No, it's still good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Not that you guys would know. Yeah, sorry. Let's start again. Good morning, everyone. So I am heading to train at Titans. It is nearly two weeks to go till I step on stage for WBFF. Um, so I'm really excited. So I'm going to be taking you guys through um, a hamstring workout today. And uh, for the next two weeks, it's going to be quite interesting. I'm going to show you the supplements I'm taking, um, a few fun things as well. So stay tuned. So, yeah. If, if there's anything I can really add to my prep at this stage is that my brain in regards to forgetting small things, um, example, keys, losing headphones. I've bought like five headphones in the last three weeks. I swear there needs to be like a like an alarm or a buzzer when people lose their headphones. It needs to have find my headphone app. Ooh, there's an idea. Do not steal it. But yeah, anyway, it doesn't help when you lose your headphones, especially when you're in prep, especially when you want to listen to music. And especially like me, I like to listen to things when I'm training. So yeah, it's probably the worst thing when you're on your cardio equipment, you look through your bag and there's no headphone. Anyway, let's hit it and train Z hamstrings. Oh yeah. Ba -da -ba -da. Da -da 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 -da. Alright, so I'm just at Titans, training with the beautiful, spectacular, lovely Simpson. And Rowing, I don't know if you know this brand, Ellis Simpson. Get it from right away now. So we're just doing hamstring simplers, which is a standard 10 on Lauren's session. Always, always the heavy. Your love is a wild card Folding is the hard part I don't know if you hold me Believe me if you let lonely Your love is a wild card Can't let this go too far I don't know if you hold me I'll break my heart Cause your love is a wild card Round two, but you're still face down. I can't get to you. I'm in the red, so cut to the chase. What will it be today? Yeah. You keep taking the upper hand and you're leaving me exposed. I don't think I stand a chance when your feelings never show. Your love is a wild card. Can't let this go too far. Instead of just dropping in. Keep going. That's it. You get it. <laughs> now quarter turn. Oh, that was hot. That was good, that little like lean forward, show the shoulder, bring it back. That's it. Now quarter turn and face it back at the stage. Yeah. Yeah, because that looks amazing on you. That's it. God, those legs look fucking insane. Yeah, don't do head twist too much. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> posing, um, posing practice with the one and only Mariana WBFF Bikini Pro. Hello. So um, we've just been <laughs> admiring my, my beautiful toe, which is going to make an appearance today. 
Shall we show the... Oh, show the toe, show the toe. I haven't painted show. my nails. I it deserves its own YouTube right. channel. Yeah, this is the, the stub toe. Oh wait, <laughs> I need to take my shoes off. <laughs> Hold that. I would love to film. Dun, dun, right. dun, dun, dun. So I have a toe that doesn't touch the ground. Oh yeah. So for Tam's birthday, she posted about her toe. <laughs> and it was about 20 things about you. And one of the 20 oh. things was this toe that and doesn't... It doesn't touch. And the first thing I wanted to see when I saw Tam was trying to touch the ground. Look, I'm, <laughs> can you see it? I do apologize. My nails are gross. I'm getting them done for WBF. But watch, I'm trying so hard to go okay, do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then the other one? Tam has a carny foot. <laughs> Sorry, please do not touch. <laughs> touch your toe. Is it? Yeah, it looks really funny, doesn't it? All right, and here's my other foot. Again, toenails are gross, but anyway. Look, normal toe. Normal toe. <sighs> it's touching the ground. Not touch the ground. Fish my strong hands. That's like really like. Fish my strong toe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't stop all that now. <laughs> hey, Mariana. Yes. Are you feeling toey? I'm feeling very. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, so um, here's my YouTube vlog for my up and coming show for WBFF. I have been a little bit MIA on social media for those who haven't noticed. Um, just because the last month have been crazy, you know, in regards to work, in regards to business and all positive things as well. But at the same time, I wanted to be more in tune with myself, with my comp, and really put in 110% effort. And that meant me, you know, not being, I wouldn't say active on social media, but you know, I haven't been taking the time to check people's stories or who checks my stories. Um, I'm, I'm being a lot more aware of where I'm putting my time and effort in. And for me, I have been putting more t time and effort for the business and for the show because this has been a really big priority for me and um, you know I have really worked hard for this competition um, not just physically but mentally as well and I've had a lot of things happen in my life uh, which I'm going to share for you guys on my next vlog uh, it's something that I've wanted to share with you guys and it's something that I want to share after my show um, because it's not something that I'm ready to talk about and um, I'm, I'm becoming a lot more open with my life on here in a positive manner and I want it to be a positive rather than a negative so in saying that that's why I've been doing a lot of meditation and journaling and working on myself and not focusing on the small things you know having to see who's checking my videos or um, just things like that have made me realize what's really important in life and it's moments in my career moments with people in my life my friends my family and that's why this prep has been so amazing, especially this last month, apart from everything that's going on as well. And that's because I've been really focused on staying true to myself and having the correct mindset. Um, for those of you who did see though, that I had 12 days out eaten a block of chocolate, <laughs> a block of chocolate. Uh, for those of you who didn't see the video, take a look. Hey coach, it's to <clears throat> Happy Tuesday. Oh. All is going well. I am hormonal. I am due for my period, indulged a little, and ate some chocolate. I had four. How do you say? I had. Half a block of chocolate. Oh shit, I had half a block of chocolate. Anyways, just thought I would tell you. Oh, you can do this, you can do this. Just send. Three, two, one. Send. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and I literally, that's the way I told my coach that I had half a block of chocolate. And I, I just, I can't believe that. Um, <clears throat> that happened and at the same time I'm, I'm glad it did because I'm human and I'm sure other people out there in prep have done that and it's hard to say yes I've had a hundred percent 
I have put in 100% effort into my, in my comp, um, but we're human and things like that happen. And if you know your body enough, you know that it's going to respond for, to respond well. And I think our headspace and our mentality make us feel like we should be feeling guilty for that because no one else goes through that. I think people do do things like that, but they don't um, share it. So I thought I'd share it and, and be more open and real about it. And it's been a positive impact. <laughs> so yeah, Chris was happy about that. Um, just because I purely came on and told him on video. <laughs> um, the funny thing as well is that nine days out from my comp, um, I also got my period. So I have been feeling so emotional and so weak and fatigued and lethargic. And especially when you get your period as a female during your comp, um, everything's more heightened, especially when you're feeling tired and lethargic and you're not really giving your body um, <clears throat> all the red meat that you should be eating when you start to get your period, which is what I do with my clients um, that are not competing or um, are not nine days out. You know, when you start to feel lethargic and you're about to get your period, I always say increase your red meat. So for me, I hadn't done that. I couldn't do it. I had to stick with my really low calories. So the body was just so weak, <laughs> but I'm just relieved and so happy that I got my period um, nine days out and I've been having my period for the whole prep, which is a huge thing. And I think that um, women need to know and men and coaches and athletes that a female should be getting their period during their prep. Um, it may be a little bit not delayed, but for me, I was getting at different times, like a little bit earlier, a little bit later, but it was always like each cycle I was getting my period. So that was really cool. Um, and that's all because of monosaturated fat and having a good coach. So all my girls um, have had um, their period throughout their prep, which is so important. Um, but anyway, I wanted to jump on here and speak to you guys and just let you know that I am officially properly now six days out. I feel 10 times better now, but before, this, um, I also got um, a chest infection, <clears throat> which you can sort of hear in my throat. Um, so I've had everything happen in threes, as well as everything else that's been happening in my life. <laughs> so um, it's just amazing how like I feel that I have just kind of um, accepted things that happen and just gone, cool, going to deal with this as you would. I haven't, you know, felt the need to feel sorry for myself. It's kind of been like, today I'm feeling like crap <laughs> because I'm sick. All right, so tomorrow I'm gonna to feel better because I know I'm gonna feel better. So it was interesting, I had to go to the doctors and um, tell the doctor that I was um, a, a competing in a bikini comp, but it was really hard to explain that because as soon as you think bikini comp, you sort of think of it as a bikini comp in a bar. Um, so it was interesting to explain to him that it was a bodybuilding comp, um, but I'm not a bodybuilder, I'm a bikini model. Um, so it was, it was interesting and Thank God he gave me antibiotics because um, if I didn't say that I had to be on stage in seven days, he would have been like, yeah, I'm probably not going to give you antibiotics. <laughs> so that was really good. So I'm on antibiotics and I'm not a big believer on antibiotics, but when you're out to compete in seven days and you just need to get better, <clears throat> antibiotics. Um, but yeah, look, I, yeah, that's just, <laughs> this is how life is so interesting and how things happen and that's why. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys about it because I am in the best headspace and I'm so excited for this show and I want you guys to see the backstage bandits and all the cool things that happen backstage that I'll put up on my next vlog which will be peak week and post comp as well. But anyway guys I wanted to jump on here and I, I just want to send a lot of love to all the competitors out there as well. Um, all my friends that are competing, all my clients that are competing, my athletes, my team I've tried. I love you guys so much. I'm so proud of you all. So keep grinding this is the most exciting bit right now where you're feeling depleted you're eating fish and chicken and asparagus and you're drinking loads of water oh come carb load and come show day and oh post that you're gonna just be so happy and then you're not gonna realize how you just didn't embrace it you know so that's why I think do not stress the small stuff um, don't put pressure on yourself. Whatever happens, happens, and life's amazing, and this whole experience has been amazing, and I have had the best prep um, ever, and I'm in the best headspace ever, and I'm so happy with my physique. At the end of the day, I know that I've come in with a better package than last year, the best package, I believe, and um, I have my coach, Chris, to thank for, who is an absolute legend, who I absolutely love, and I cannot wait to see what we bring on the day of comp. So this is me just giving you guys a little little chat as well and um, 
um, yeah, just sending you a lot of love and I really am so grateful for those who have continued to believe me, to believe in me and to support me because all those comments have not gone unnoticed and I, I mean it when I say it that everything you say that has supported my business really remains the world to me and it's, yeah, I... I'm doing this for me and for you guys. So thank you all for following me. Uh, and thank you for all my sponsors as well. Um, I will be mentioning you guys on my next vlog because there are so many beautiful people I want to mention and really take the time to thank them as well. Um, but guys, I'm ready and I'm excited. So let's get this show on the road and slay like Beyonce because I cannot wait to just get on stage and um, show you guys what I've been working on for the last couple of months as well. Love you all and wish me luck. <laughs>